Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'll be making some Halloween themed crafts using my very first subscription box. This was graciously sent to me by Craft Kitsune. It's their October subscription box, so let's go ahead and see what's inside. First of all, let's go ahead and get the pamphlet. So this is it. Their theme for the month is Witch. Basically, there are some instructions with the list of items in the box. The first mold I see is their miniature cauldron, which includes all of the components, like the handles and the lids. It's very cute. And here we have black pearl pigment along with a 25 gram of UV resin. Okay, now this is a big one. This is their large cauldron mold with smoke or flame lid with a palette of different lids and handles and three bags of different Halloween themed cane slices and clay sprinkles. And some super glue. And these are some nail decal stickers. This one's missing in the middle, but I found that it was stuck to the other sticker sheet. Last but not least, a jar of embellishments. Looks like there's some glass microbeads and metal nail cabochons. All right, that's everything, so let's get crafting. First, I started with the large cauldron mold. I used two-part resin and colored it pastel lilac and used liquid pigments. If you are wondering about the volume of resin required for these molds, go to Craft Kitsune's blog. She has them all listed there. For the smoke or flame lid, I color the resin with pigments and pearl mica powder. Now this mold was not level at all, so I had to put a stick underneath it to level it out. Next, I went ahead and mixed another small batch of resin for the mini cauldron and colored it black using the pearl pigment and black pigment. Now to be honest, I struggled a lot demolding both the large and the small cauldron. It took a bit of elbow grease, but I did it. Next, I glue the handles on with the rings into the built-in slots. Mm -hmm. 
I also took my nail file to lightly even out the bottom edges. Now as you can see here, the base is very thin. You can see my fingers through it, so to reinforce it, I poured a layer of resin inside. For the large one, I embedded some clay sprinkles and cane slices. The miniature one, I filled most of the way up, and you'll see why in a bit. For the large one, I cut up adhesive vinyl on my Cricut to make a jack-o'-lantern face, and used a transfer tape to apply it to the cauldron. Cutting slits on the transfer sheets help with applying on rounded surface. To decorate the mini cauldron, I used this cat I made for my cat cream soda charms. I sculpted it with some clay and made a mold out of it, cast it in resin, and painted the face. To go with the Halloween theme, I made a witch's hat for it using polymer clay, painted it, and glazed it with UV resin. Now I filled in most of the cauldron with resin earlier because I wanted to make it so it looks like the cat is sitting in the cauldron. I filled the rest with green colored UV resin, cured it, and glued the cat on. Then poured some more green UV resin around it and created drips around the mouth of the cauldron drip by drip while flash curing each one, and then later I fully cured it under my strong UV lamp. And here's another one I made off camera using the little handle which I've attached with some jump rings and decorated with nail stickers and nail cabochon. And here's a lineup of all of the cauldrons I made. I had a lot of fun making these. It definitely challenged my creativity. Which one's your favorite? Mine has to be the cat one, of course. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are interested in Craft Kitsune's subscription boxes, I have a link down below that you can use. It is an affiliate link, which means if you use it, I get a small commission at no cost to you. Again, thank you for watching and have a happy Halloween season. See you guys in my next video. Bye!